This is question 10 and it's a question involving standard form and it says that a person's heart beats approximately 10 to 5 times each day and a person lives for 81 years and what we've got to do is work out the estimate for the number of times a person's heart beats in their lifetime giving the answer correct to two significant figures. So we can say well it would be the number of days the person lives times by the number of times a heart beats in one day. And for the number of days, there's 365 days in a year. And if we times that by 81, that would give us the number of heartbeats in a lifetime, if we then times it by the 10 to the 5. Now, because we're doing an estimate, what we want to do is round these numbers up. So we can take the 365 and we can do that to one significant figure. And if we do that, that will become 400 because the six in the second significant figure place means that the three is going to have to have one added to it. And then if we take the 81, that to one significant figure becomes 80. And that's because the one is below five, so we don't have to put the eight up to a nine. And that's, this is still times 10 to the five. So what we've got to do next, we can do the 400 times the 80. But first of all, we can do four times eight gives us 32 and then we just need to add three zeros onto that this is still times 10 to the 5 and the next easy thing to do is to try and put the first number here in standard form and we can do that by calling it 3.2 times 10 and well, then we need to work out what number the power is going to be and we can see that the decimal point has had to move one, two, three, four places to go between the three and the two where it is now. So it's times 10 to the four. And then this is all still times 10 to the five. So now what we can do, we can say, well, that's going to be 3.2 times. And when we multiply things with powers on, so 10 to the five times 10 to the four, we just add the powers there. So that becomes 10 to the 9. And that's in standard form now. That's the first part done. In the second part of the question, we're told that 2 times 10 to the 12 red blood cells have a total mass of 90 grams. And we've got to work out the average mass of one red blood cell. So that would be that one red blood cell would have a mass which would be 90 grams divided by how many red blood cells there were, which is 2 times 10 to the 12. And then we can use some of the rules of indices, which since we're dividing by 10 to the 12 here, we could rewrite this as being 90 times, and if we put it in the numerator, the top line of the fraction, we can change the sign on the power, and that's going to become times 10 to the minus 12, still over 2. And now it's quite easy for me to divide the 90 by the 2, which means it's 45 times 10 to the minus 12. And that might look like that's in standard form. It almost is, but the thing is, we've actually got a number bigger than 10 there. And in fact, it's got to be one digit in front of the decimal point. So really we need that to be 4.5 times 10 to a power for it to be in standard form. So we need to look, make an adjustment to the power on the 10. And we can see a nice way of looking at this is we've made this one weaker by one decimal place. So it's gone from 45 to 4.5. So that's gone weaker. So we're going to have to make the, the number on the power stronger. Because we've moved the decimal point one place back, we've got to make the number on the power stronger by one. And so if we add 1 to negative 12, being careful because of the signs there, that means we're going to get minus 11 because we have to consider that as directed numbers. So minus 12 plus 1 gives us minus 11. And now that is in standard form. So there we go. There's our answer. 4.5 times 10 to the minus 11. And that's completed the question. So I hope that's been helpful to you. And if it has... Please consider subscribing to our channel to see more of our videos and also giving the video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.